In the last couple of videos in this series, we created a small, very basic PHP CMS from scratch. So in the last couple of videos, we created a place to log in, a dashboard, and an add, edit, delete, and list page for our users. In this video, we're going to create the same four pages, add, edit, delete, and list, but this time for our projects. So I've got my PHP mine min open and we're looking at our projects table. So you can see we have title, content, URL, type, date, and photo. So we want to create a add, edit, delete, and list for our projects accounting for all of those columns. Now, once you have one process complete, in this case our users, it's quite simple to create a similar process for another table. We just take those four files, or in this case three, because we've integrated our delete into our actual list page, and we duplicate them and then revise them to account for our new table structure. So I'm just gonna take our three files here and duplicate them. So we'll call this one projects. This will be projects add. And lastly, our edit. If we go back to our content management system and log in, we are sent to our dashboard and we have our project manage users and our manage projects. So now I can click on manage projects and this brings me to my manage projects page except it's currently displaying users. So I'm gonna open up my projects file and first we're basically going to go through this file and replace anything user related with project related. So our delete will be delete from projects where ID equals delete from our URL and then we will redirect back to our projects list. Our title will be manage projects. In our query, we're gonna select star from projects, order by, and in this case, we'll order by date. In our table here, we do not have first name, last name, and email. Let's take a quick look at our projects table. So let's go with title maybe our type and our date. It's, it's kind of up to you which columns you want to show to make it easier to know which record you probably want to edit when managing your projects. So in our rows, we do title, type, and date. We'll have to come back and add some formatting to that date, but for now that's fine and our links will be projects edit and our projects page with a delete variable added. Okay, change our add link to projects add and change the check text here to add project. So now if I save and go back to my list here and refresh, okay, so I'm getting an error looks like I have a problem with my SQL statement. So if I go to my SQL statement, select star from projects order by date. Okay, and the problem there is I just misspelled projects. And I did it again. So, right, save that and refresh. So we're not getting any projects at this point because there are none in our table, but no errors is a good sign. So before we can test this out, we need some projects. So let's go on to our next step and add or modify the projects edit file. So same thing, first I'm gonna start by just going through this file and changing it from users related data to projects related data. So when I insert into projects, we're gonna insert title, content, that's our project description, 
type date and let's just take a quick look at our table in our projects make sure we've accounted for everything oh i forgot our url now the photo we'll get to later we're not going to do that in this file so same thing here title content type date and url Okay, we can take off that MD5 encryption on our date. Again, we'll have to come back here and revise that date with some formatting, but for now, that'll be fine. And just go through and continue to change our wording here. So we don't need a first name, we need a project title. We don't need a last name, we need a project description or content. And this one can be a text area. There's a good chance this content will require more than one line, maybe a couple paragraphs. Okay, then we have date, and we'll make this a date input so we get a nice date picker. Uh, password, we can switch with URL. So switch that back to a text input and URL. And now here we can switch type, or sorry, active to type. So if we look at our table, the possible values at this point are graphic design and website. And as you add more options in your table, you would have to make that reflect in your PHP code here. Now there are ways where you can actually generate this drop-down list based on the options of the um, type column from our database, but again just to keep it simple we'll just use an array here. Alright, so now I can save that. Now before I test, when I insert a record, my date needs to be in the format so if we just click a sample date here year month day so I want to make sure that my date is in that format so let's just go back to our content management system click add project and notice my date is indeed in the format year month day so that should be fine so let's throw in a test project here So we'll just choose any date. And click Submit. All right, so it looks like it worked, except again, it's redirecting to the wrong file here. So I keep misspelling projects. So I'm just gonna click back, find my typo here. And we'll try this again. So I'm going to reload this page, fill it out again. And click Submit. All right, so that's working. I have two projects in there. I can take a quick look at my table here and click Browse and just check to make sure that all my columns are being filled properly. So it looks like everything's good. Again, the photo is still empty, but we'll come to that. Hey, right, next I want to do the same to my edit file. I'm gonna go through here and just switch everything from users related to projects related. I can remove the password. We don't have a second update to execute. Change my message and redirect back to my projects list. 
Next, when we pre-populate our form, I want to fetch a record from my projects table and just go through our form elements and switch them from users to projects. Content again is going to be a text area. So with a text area, when you want to pre-populate a text area, you don't use the value attribute, you just place the content in between your open and close text area tags. And this will be a date dropdown. And lastly, our URL. Now, in the previous one, password was not pre-populated. So I need to add a value attribute here. And then our type. And when we coded our users page, we already accounted for how to pre-populate a dropdown. So as long as we switch the elements in our array and switch it from active to type, then it should pre-populate as needed. All right, so if I save, and now let's try and edit a record. All right, so we have two errors here, um, one on our content and one on our URL. So content, I just forgot to switch our record key, oh, and this is not post, that should be record. So we'll save that and try that again. I'm gonna refresh my edit page. So no visible errors. And if I change this from, we'll just add a one on the end there and click edit. And you can see my change has, has been made. All right, and the last piece for this one is our delete. So I'm gonna open up our projects list. And we already changed our URL. We already changed our query. So now that we have some records, that should just work. So if I delete our first record here, that record is gone. So once you have kind of an add, edit, delete list process for one data type, for one table, it's quite easy just to copy that for another table. So in, in your website, if you have um, another topic other than projects, maybe blog articles, contact form submissions, you can simply take those three files, rename and edit them. And it's that simple. Now, at this point, we have not accounted for uploading a, a photo to our projects, so we're going to handle that in the next video.